Hi, welcome everyone. Let us speak about serimetry now. Just before exam, consider this as a revision. And serimetry is a redox titration. And here we are using ceric salt as an oxidizing agent. As you know, we are dealing with the redox titrations. And the re in redox titrations, here whatever we are studying, we are utilizing the oxidizing agents as the standard substances. Here we are using various ceric salts. Example, we are using ceric ammonium sulfate or cerium, cerium for sulfate or ceric sulfate. We are using as the oxidizing agents. And this is ceric ammonium sulfate and this is ceric sulfate. And both we can use here as an oxidizing agent. But we prefer ceric ammonium sulfate over cerium sulfate. The reason behind it is this ceric ammonium sulfate is very much water soluble in nature. So we can use this ceric ammonium sulfate relatively easily without much boiling. We can dissolve ceric ammonium sulfate. And where we are, if we are using ceric sulfate, if we are using or ceric quartz sulfate, we are using means we have to heat or boil it for some time. Let us find out what is the oxidation state of cerium metal present in the center. Yes, from here we will be able to see the oxidation state of cerium sulfate or ceric metal present in the center is plus 4 oxidation state. So here what is happening is upon taking one electron, the ceric metal center is converting into its serous form or Ceric 4 plus 4 ceric cylinder is converting into its plus 3 form. That is plus 4 plus 4 ceric, self, ceric compounds we can name as ceric and this plus 3 cerium salt we can name as serous. And what are the advantages of this type of titration or what are the things we have to key things we have to remember here in oxidations with cerium sulfate or cerium 4 sulfate. So here we are using this cerium sulfate which is a powerful oxidizing agent and here the reduction potential of cerium uh, 4 sulfate is 1.43 volt in concentrated sulfuric acid or even in the very higher concentration sulfuric acid. This ceric 4 sulfate can be used only in acid solution. The best is in its 0.5 molar or higher concentration of acids. Especially we are using sulfuric acid as the acid here. If you are using the ceric sulfate in neutral solutions, the cerium sulfate will convert into its cerium hydroxide salt and this cerium hydroxide compound will undergo precipitation so we are not using ceric sulfate salts in neutral solution or even we are not using this com uh, compounds in basic conditions also this can lead precipitation as ceric hydroxide or hydrated cerium oxide it can undergo precipitation so this Cerium sulfate solutions are intensely yellow in color that you remember. So this compound can act as a self indicator also. So what are the, let us go to the, what are the advantages of this cerium sulfate? The cerium sulfate or ceric, for, ceric sulfate or cerium 4 sulfate are remarkably stable over a long period of time. We can keep this very long time this will not undergo that this is very much stable for, for very long time and this need not be protected from light and even this is stable after boiling also in boiling conditions also this this strong oxidizer is very much stable and the so these advantages literally surpasses a permanganate solution in its stability and Cerium for sulfate solution are in, I told you these are yellow in color. In its very dilute solution, 0.1 molar solution of cerium for sulfate colored and can be, so this can be used as a 
self indicator and not only that in this the reaction of cerium salt in acid solutions solutions reduce as a reducing agent are very simple because it is undergoing only one electron oxidation so cerimetry is having the advantage because permanganate whatever we have seen there will be several oxidation products will be there whenever unexpected oxidation products are uh, will be there in there will be unexpected oxidation products in the permanganometry and hcl cannot be used here in cerium sulfate titrations because if you are heating hcl with cerium sulfate this that will liberate chlorine whenever cerium sulfate we are treating with two chlorine cl chloride it will hydrochloric acid or cl minus this will liberate chlorine by oxidation Actually, so if you are heating it very quickly, chlorate will be getting, chlorine will be getting liberated from chlorine. So this is the simple titration that I have mentioned here, where we are using the standard ceric for sulfate solution, and that we are directly titrating in acid solutions. We are titrating, actually this acid medium we are providing here itself, we are making the cerium salt in H2SO4. So this because this reaction is happening in highly in acid medium only and the redox indicator this uh, we can utilize here this compound I told you this compound itself is a yellow in color and they can use as a self indicator also and apart from that in case certain situations are there where we cannot use this as a self indicator that time we can use heroin dimethylferroin and N phenyl anthralinic acid as a redox indicator. So here I have just mentioned a simple reaction where ferrous ion is converting into its ferric form. So by reacting with this cerium sulfate. Standardization of 0.1 molar ceric, ceric ammonium sulfate as per IP. It is already there in 2007 IP. Volume 1, page number 313. So we are preparing 0.1 molar ammonium ceric sulfate for ceric ammonium sulfate. And for that we have to dissolve 65 gram of ceric ammonium sulfate with the aid of gentle heat in a mixture of 30 ml of sulfuric acid and 500 ml of water. Then we can cool and filter the solution if it is turbid in nature and we can again dilute and make up the volume into 1000 ml because as i told you early this compound is not a primary standard we have to standardize this ceric ammonium sulfate with other primary standard solutions such as arsenic trioxide we have to do the standardization as per ip this is the procedure of standardization of 0.1 molar ceric ammonium sulfate and here we are using arsenic trioxide as a reducing agent to standardize this and we are weighing 0.2 gram of arsenic trioxide and that we are dissolving in a 500 ml conical flask and we are adding sodium hydroxide to it and that time this arsenic trioxide will react with the sodium hydroxide and it will form sodium arsenate and then once that is formed then we will be add water and mix it well then we will be diluting or adding neutralizing the excess sodium hydroxide by the addition of sulfuric acid 30 ml then we are adding osmic acid solution and ferroin as an indicator osmic acid as a, uh, as a solution as a catalyst and ferroin as an indicator and we are slowly titrating this uh, along with from burette we are just titrating this with ceric ammonium sulfate solution so these all things we are taking in conical flask and we are titrating with ceric ammonium standard ceric ammonium sulfate solution or 
and the end point will be from pink color to very pale blue in color and here 1 mlo 0.1 molar ceric ammonium sulfate is equivalent to 0 0.004946 gram of arsenic trioxide so this is the basic principle involved here here initially as i told you whenever arsenic trioxide we are treating with sodium hydroxide it convert into sodium arsenate and this sodium arsenate upon reacting with water in presence of uh, this uh, ceric ammonium sulfate uh, this will form sodium arsenate and it will it is able to, it is can release four electron because here if you calculate the oxidation state of arsenic is plus 3 and if you calculate the oxidation state of arsenic here that is plus 5 two molecules are involved here then we will it will be liberating four electrons from here these four electrons this uh, four cerium uh, center can take this four electron and then it can this four cerium center or four cerium ammonium sulfate can convert into its corresponding serous 4 or ceric 4 will convert into 3 by utilizing these electrons hope the concept everything is very clear thank you all the best for your examination